All right, guys, <clears throat> we're back out here again today. It was a cold one last night. It was a cold one last night, and didn't have any luck on this farm in the past few days, but I'm happy to get this other cat off his property. It's the third one, and I think five days. So if that tells you anything, they're overpopulated in this area. But I'm happy to get him. And, all right, we'll take care of him, and I'll show you the remake. All right, guys, we got the set remade. We just came back in here and just put in another dirt hole. Just the way it was uh, whenever I originally set it. But uh, got to set here. Got to set up wherever that rock's at. Going off the one gate crossing. That's two cats so far this year. I'm hoping to get at least one more, maybe a few coyotes. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. But all right, stay tuned. All right, guys, rolling up on the second farm. Something got caught with its uh, hand in the cookie jar this morning. It's like just a little dog. Oh, yeah, he's deep. He's caught deep. All right, guys, we got that dog taken care of. Now it's time to remake this set. She made a mess out of it. It's a big female. I'm expecting, fully expecting to have another one in this set tonight. But we're just gonna go in here and remake it the way I would any normal remake. Like I said, it's out here at the end of this tree. Any coyote that comes down through here is not gonna wanna jump across back here. I'm, for whatever reason i don't know whether it's coming up here to mark this as a scent post or whether it may be but that coyote any predator for bobcat or whatever they're going to come down through here they're going to hit this tree they're going to come in here inside and they're going to swing back into the fence line but yeah duke 650 had a real deep pad catch on her couldn't ask for anything more. couldn't ask for anything more couldn't ask for anything better you can see she really didn't tear up anything too often much. My dirt hole's still there. I got my trap bed here. I'm just gonna dig it out a little bit. We're gonna move this tree around a little bit. It might help us out a little bit. See what we can do with that. Yeah, she didn't mess my trap up at all. Looks like she may have been caught sometime during the night. I don't know when exactly, but it doesn't matter now. So, happy to get down here and take care of this. There's a farmer next door that's getting ready to start calving. I have some traps on his property. I haven't had any luck yet. The cows keep getting in my traps, which is a pain in the butt, but hey, it is what it is. Can't do, can't win them all. I can't. Anytime you catch something, you want to come back in and make sure everything looks like it's running right, and it is in this case, so we ain't going to fix anything. I'm going to have to dig this out a little bit more. Surprisingly, normally I'll come back in the next day and there'll be shrapnel and dirt and whatever thrown every which way. And that is not the case here. I'm very happy with that. That's great. That's good. 
Upon further inspection of this coyote, I was looking at it and going over it and whatnot, and it turns out this coyote was in heat. If I would have had another trap set here last night, chances are I would have probably thought it's running mate because I know it's running it's running mate is around here somewhere. I have a pop dream set set down at the corner. It didn't connect last night, but I'm fully expecting this one to connect tonight. trap fits in there as tight against the walls of this trap bed as it can. There we go. I know you guys in there that are watching, there's a hundred different variations of a dirt hole. Every video you watch on there about trapping is, has to do with setting traps and whatnot. That's about all there is to it. You just gotta find the way that you like to set traps and go with it. Do your own things to them. Specialize it, make it your own. You don't want to cookie cut anybody's trapping techniques unless you just want to. Unless you just want to, that is perfectly okay with you. Whatever makes you happy, whatever puts fur in your shed, whatever makes your chains tight. That trap is not moving whatsoever. I'm going to take something to mark the pan. Oh, I know where the pan's at. That's good enough. Now, as you can see, I don't have any dirt or anything like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just out in the field a little ways and dig me a little hole and get me some dirt to blend this trap in. in here and remove this stick where I know where it's at and whenever you hear people talk about guiding coyotes into traps or whatever you can come in here and you can put a stick like that you can put a stick like that in front of it do whatever and that's too much that is way too much guiding all you need to guide that coyote is to step on the hand of your trap something I like to do not a lot of people I've watched do it Come in here and make a little lip. Make a little lip right in front of that trap pan. Because believe it or not, that coyote does not want to step on that little rise right there. A bobcat, coyote, whatever it may be. But it's not going to want to step on that little rise. Something else some coyotes aren't going to want to step on are these little dirt clumps. You throw some dirt clumps on that side of the trap. Throw some on that side of the trap. That's all you need. That is all you need to get that coyote guided to step right on your pan of your trap. Now you might want to do some guiding on the side. If you wanted to do that, you could. But all I'm going to do with that is just throw that out in the side. Now I'll throw that out of, the, out of the set. And like I said, you don't want to do too much for guiding. I'm going to leave that stick there. Something else I'll do. Something else that isn't going to hurt a thing. Take a little stick like this, just put it right on top of the cow. That right there is enough to push that coyote away from that right there from coming in like that. 
You're not going to have one coming from the side like that. He's not going to want to step all over this stuff up here. But I pair this for good measure. But looks good to me. We'll get this thing baited up. I've been working on some different bait. It seems to be working pretty good, so I can't complain. But we're going to throw some bait in the hole. And see what happens. But if I was a betting man, I would bet a pretty good amount of money that there would be another coyote in this trap in the morning. Whenever you go to bait your traps, you never want to use the same set of gloves you use that you set your traps with. Any scent that gets on these gloves will just contaminate will contaminate your trap. You'll come back and your trap will be dug up every single time. When I'm making my own bait, I'm pretty liberal with it. Just a big chunk of that in the hole. Push that back as far as you can. Put some sheep's wool on top of it. And I don't need to use any kind of lure whatsoever. This coyote has provided me enough lure to last me a week, if not more than a week. So, that's it. That's all we're going to do. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you on down the line.